All right, so I am about to remove this seat. Surprise, my husband trusts me. But I re removed the seat because underneath there's like plywood and then there's, um, I don't even know if that's like linoleum, like flooring. I don't know, it's like the cheapest flooring you could have ever gotten. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna remove this. It's like pretty like rod underneath the, the uh, plywood is pretty rotted and the chair is rusty. So we have to remove it, put new flooring. Um, so let's go. was a fail we got one bolt off because i snapped it and so now we're gonna try the angle grinder to basically grind off these pieces because they're so old and rusted that they kind of just are spinning in, in place so here we go something like that um i'm going to continue to demo up here up front as much as i can i, I talked to um our diesel mechanic ken he's going to help us out with uh removing the radiators and here's the radiator that radiator and then the lines that go all the way back to the heater 
we're gonna remove the heater um maybe not today because he's busy but yeah today's gonna be all demoing um i'm just gonna start ripping things out that we don't want and don't need and and want to change um yeah okay, so see. this is staying here this is the old radiator that does the front for the front windshield um all of this we're gonna keep original this we're gonna keep original um the controls here we're gonna keep original but then this we're removing this is what i'm talking about here this old radiator and then we'll probably put a some storage underneath here we have some like like a foot of space here but yeah this is what it looks like guys this big hole here i mean this not a, no this big hole here we're gonna fabricate something to cover up that hole done for today um i'm gonna pick up genesis at work she comes out pretty soon so this is what i did today i took out all the sidewalls that's where our, our plumbing and some of our electrical will run down in um yeah this is a mess in here we need to find some storage for all this stuff um so so yeah i did So I demoed uh, both sides of the bus. Hopefully you get to reuse a lot of those uh, pieces that I took off the walls. Um, and the flooring isn't complete yet, but um, it's pretty dry. There's one uh, tile that we have to replace just because it was cracked the last time we were here. Um, yeah. All right, so we have moved all the side, side wood pieces i guess you want to call them the framing that we had um we're just going to clean up the floor a little and then break bring the um sub flooring up see what we're working with hopefully it's nothing too crazy um but yeah
So we have to move the bus forward. Day 23. Day 23. Uh, post finding out that we have a million and one holes in our bus. Um, some really, really big ones. Oh, mm -hmm. they don't look open because of the ceiling. Um, so we're having one of our friends that's a welder come look at the holes that we have um, to see what we should do. Um, we have a little bit less than half of the bus, like, ripped up the flooring. Um, so we're going to rip up the rest and see, like, how bad it is. I'm pretty sure the driver's seat is going to need some some work because it feels like just standing on the plywood, you can you feel like it's just, like, sinking. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what, what it is, and then we'll kind of deal with the floor. We're really glad that we brought the floor up, yeah. um, even though it exposed things that we didn't want to see. Um, yeah. But yeah, anything you want to add? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 